everybody! Uh, I am here to give us a little reformer workout today. We're going to keep it on one red spring the whole time. Uh, so that's going to be different for some of our usual exercises and hopefully you will feel some engagement in different spots today. Um, I'm gonna, we're starting with footwork. I'm going to start with my foot bar all the way up. If you like yours in the center spot, that's totally fine. We're going to find heels onto the bar, parallel hip distance apart, about a fist distance in between your knees, tailbone staying nice and heavy. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, you'll extend the carriage out all the way. I want you to lengthen your legs all the way, but don't pop your knees straight. And inhale to drag in, dropping that tailbone nice and heavy. Exhaling to draw out. Inhaling to pull it in and bring the carriage all the way into the stopper. So as you come closer into the stopper, it's going to be more challenging to keep your pelvis neutral. Keep that tailbone dropping down. Make sure your back ribs keep dropping down as well. For two. All the way in and last one. Beautiful. From here, from the hip, we'll externally rotate into Pilates view position. We'll draw the balls of the feet down onto the foot bar. Nice deep inhale. Exhale to press away. We're zipping those inner thighs together. We're extending the legs all the way. And then we're spiraling the thigh bones outwards in the hip sockets as we draw back in. Exhaling to press out. Inhaling to draw all the way in. Again, tailbone is staying heavy. We're getting into some nice deep hip flexion there. Making sure that pubic bone and hip bones are staying on the same plane the whole time. So if it helps you to keep your hands here to make sure that's happening, feel free to do that. For two. And last one there. Good. From here, we're going to plug those shoulders down into the back, float the fingertips an inch up off the mat. On your next exhale, we'll scoop up head, neck, and shoulders. So we're finding a nice upper ab curl here. We're keeping the collarbones nice and wide. We're going to take two more here, pressing out so you can see that the inside seam of your leg is drawing together right in line with your nose. And then if you feel comfortable, we're going to take that into a couple jumps. If you're looking right at the foot bar, so you can make sure that you land back onto it. We're keeping that belly button drawing down into the spine for three and two. And last one there. Good. We'll draw it all the way in. Torso can rest back down onto the mat. From here, if your headrest is up, please go ahead and take it down. We're going to take some bridges. Again, it's on one red spring, so it's going to be a lot of work for your hamstrings. Arms are at the sides, collarbones nice and wide. Those ribs are melting down into the mat. I like the arches or heels of the feet onto the bar. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, we're going to tuck that tailbone under. We're going to try to keep the carriage into the stopper. It's going to be a lot of hamstring work. Inhale up at the top. Exhale to roll it down through the spine. One vertebra at a time. I'm laughing because my hamstrings are rebelling against that this morning. We're going to take two more just like that. Inhale. Exhale, tucking that tailbone under. Pressure down through the feet. Keep the collarbones nice and wide. Think about the knees shooting out away from you up at the top. Inhale and exhale to roll it down through the spine. One vertebra at a time. My right hamstring really doesn't like that today. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, tucking the tailbone under. We'll roll it all the way up. Inhale at the top. Exhale to roll it all the way down. Feel that breastbone kind of sinking down to the mat first. And then we're dripping one vertebra at a time. Back down all the way to a neutral. Beautiful. From here, we are going to go ahead and take our left hand into the strap. You'll pancake your right hand on top of it. So both hands are into the same loop. Legs up to tabletop. From here, you're going to externally rotate the legs and bring the whole sole of the foot together. So the outside seam of my foot is squeezing together as well. Plug those shoulders down into the back. Keep your back ribs melting down into the mat. On your exhale, we're going to pull that strap down, scoop up head, neck, and shoulders. You're reaching your fingertips in between your legs. You're squeezing your feet together. And inhale to roll it back down. Exhale to scoop. Inhale to roll down. So there's not a whole lot of weight here. But I want you to make sure that you're continuing to plug your shoulders down into your back and keep your collarbones nice and wide. For two. And keep squeezing the feet. It's easy to 
skip that, but we want to be working the legs as well. Good. We can rest down from there. You're going to hang that strap up. We'll take that on the other side. So right hand into the loop, left hand is pancaking on top of it, legs to tabletop, and then externally rotate and squeeze the whole sole of the foot together, including the outside edges of the foot. On your exhale, we're scooping up. So the rope's coming right to the uh, right side of my head. And rolling down. And exhaling up. Keep squeezing those feet. Good for two. And last one there. Beautiful. From here, we're going to take both hands up into the straps. Now again, we're just on one red, so it's going to be lighter than usual. We're going to float those legs to tabletop. Up to you if you want to squeeze them all the way together or keep them parallel hip distance. Draw your fingertips so that they're right in line with the shoulders. There's going to be tension in the ropes already. On your exhale, you're just pulling your arms down, really lengthening through those arms, plugging the shoulder blades down into the back, and inhaling back up. Now, with this lighter weight today, I want you to notice that it takes more work in the abs than the shoulders. So, we are working through the mid-back, but we're making sure that everything stays nice and connected up in the front. Now we're definitely going to squeeze those legs all the way together. On your exhale, pull down, scoop up head, neck, and shoulders. Reach the legs out long over the bar. Draw the legs back into tabletop. And roll it down. Two more like that. Exhaling up. Extend those legs. Drag them back in. And roll down. Last time like that. Exhaling up. Extend the legs. Draw back in. And roll down. Good. From here, we're scooping up. You're going to go ahead and extend those legs. Now the legs are going to stay straight, and we're going to inhale the arms straight up, and exhale them down. For two. And last one. Good. Let's come back into tabletop. Arms up to your T position. Nice deep inhale. Exhale to pull in towards the hips. Lots of pressure into the pinky sides of the hands, and inhale back up. Again, make sure that your ribs are not reacting to that. Back rib staying connected down into the mat. Good. Last one like that. Nice and smooth through that movement. And then we'll add in our ab curl. We're going to extend the legs long. We'll draw the legs back in. And arms come out. Two more. Squeeze it straight. Drag it in. And back out. Last time like that. Scooping up. Extending, dragging in, and back down. Good. From here, we're scooping up. Extend those legs. Keep them straight. Inhale, arms up to your T. Plug those shoulders down to pull the hands in towards the hips. For two. And last one. Good. Legs back into tabletop. Fingertips back up towards the ceiling. We're going to take our circles here. You'll inhale out to your T. Exhale around and up. Nothing too fancy here. But I want you to make sure that you're reaching long through the fingertips the whole time. Really trying to smooth out those circles. Make sure those back ribs stay down into the mat. You've got one more in this direction. <sighs> Inhale up towards the ceiling. Exhale, pull down first to reverse. Thinking about drawing the front points of the hips together. So we're keeping those low abs engaged so that we're not dumping into the low back. For two. And last one. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, you can rest the feet down. We're going to go ahead and put both feet up into these straps. If you had your headrest up at all, please take it down here. We're going to take the legs into Pilates feet position. They're squeezing all the way together. Arms are down at the sides. We're going to take some levitations here. Now, again, this is lighter than usual for a levitation, so your hips probably won't go up as high as usual. I just want you to know that in your heart and feel okay with it. So we're squeezing those inner thighs. Our glutes are going to help us. Our low abs are going to help us. We're going to keep our collarbones nice and wide. On your exhale, we're going to tuck that tailbone under and try to lift the hips up off the mat without the carriage moving and roll it back down. Exhaling up and rolling back down. So my hips are maybe coming up two inches. 
I'm really trying not to move the carriage. I'm trying not to bring too much tension up into my chest. Exhaling up. Good, we're gonna take one more like that. Then from here, we're gonna reach around and grab onto the poles next to your ears. I want you to really feel like you're trying to pull those poles apart, so we're putting some pressure there. Now with this support up at the top, maybe we can get up a little, a little bit higher. Exhaling to scoop up. Inhaling to roll down. Keep those legs glued together. Exhaling up, trying to pull those poles apart. And rolling down. We've got two more. And roll it down. Last one there. And roll it down. Good. Arms are going to come down to the sides. We're still in Pilates U position. On your exhale, we're pulling the legs straight down towards the foot bar. It's very light today, so make sure that we're keeping the spine nice and neutral. As you draw back up, think about plugging those thigh bones down into the hip sockets, keeping the tailbone heavy. Exhale to reach long. Inhale to draw up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. I think I want my headrest up for this today. We've got two more. Oh yeah, that feels better. Last one there. Good. Pull halfway down. Keep your feet on the same plane. We're going to inhale to split the legs apart, only as far as you feel comfortable going. And then squeeze those inner thighs to draw the legs back together. Now again, not as much weight as usual here, but I want you to focus on really hoping, holding that pelvis nice and neutral the whole time. Try to keep the feet on the same plane. Squeezing together. Last one there. Good, and we'll draw up towards the ceiling. Pelvis is staying nice and neutral. We're going into circles. Again, with less weight, we have less support here for our legs, so we need to hold more of our own weight. It's going to be more ab work. More work in the powerhouse, if you will. Inhaling out. Exhale, reach long, squeeze together. Don't let that pelvis tilt forward. For two. And the last one. Up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, pull down first to reverse. Inhaling up to the side and up. Exhaling down. Inhaling around and up. Now I'm staying in uh, external rotation the whole time. So from the split position, you really have to spiral your heels together first. We're working that external rotation for two. And last one. Yeah, beautiful. We can carefully take the feet out of the straps. You're going to hang those straps up. We're going to flip around into an all fours position. We're going to take some knee stretches. So hands are going to be on the frame, right in line with the shoulders. Legs are parallel behind you, so I don't want your feet together. I want them right in line with your knees. Draw your shoulders down into your back. From here, we're going to keep a nice neutral spine. And we're pressing up like you're trying to press your chest away from the floor. We don't want to be sinking down into the shoulders here. So those co collarbones are wide and shoulder blades are wide on the back. On your exhale, you're pulling your knees up towards your hands and inhaling it back. Keeping that spine nice and long so we're not tucking the tailbone here yet. Exhale to pull up. Just keeping nice and strong through the shoulders. So make sure you're not doing this work in the shoulders. Arms are just staying stable. We've got one more here. From here, we are going to tuck that tailbone under. You're going to curl the spine up high towards the ceiling. We're still thinking about pressing out through our hands, so we're still not sinking down into our shoulders. Now, with this curve, we're going to hold on to it the whole time. On your exhale, we're pulling the knees up towards the hands. Now, with your spine curved, your seat will come closer to your heels. But the trick is, as the carriage back, goes back towards the stopper, keep scooping up towards the ceiling. So my carriage doesn't feel like it wants to come all the way into the stopper, and I'm going to go with that today. Scooping up, scooping up, scooping up, scooping up. It's a lot of ab work. Scoop, 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 scoop. Two more. And last one there. Beautiful. We're going to bring the carriage into the stopper. You're going to shift yourself back a little bit. 
Hands can either come flat onto the mat or up onto the shoulder blocks. Whichever option you take, I want you to make sure that you're staying active through your fingers so we're not just dumping into the wrists here. So I'm going to wrap my fingers around and I'm really kind of like clawing down into the shoulder blocks. From here, you're going to take one heel onto the foot bar behind you. Now, if you had your foot bar down into the center, you might want to move it up here. You can feel for yourself what feels better. We're going to keep those elbow pits rotating forward, draw the shoulders down into the back. So my left heel is up onto the bar. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale. On my exhale, I'm using my left glute to extend that leg, pressing out nice and long, and inhaling to control in. Exhaling out. Inhaling in. Think about your opposite hip squeezing in towards the center. Nice wide collarbones. Last one there. So I'm really focusing on right where my glute meets my thigh, up in that gluteal fold. That's where I'm initiating the movement from. Good. We're going to rest that knee down. We'll take the other heel onto the bar. Make sure you didn't sit your weight too far over towards the opposite side like I just did. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze that glute to extend, and inhale to draw in. Now you might feel a difference side to side. I know I'm feeling that. Inhaling in, exhaling out. Keeping long through the low spine, keeping everything else nice and neutral and stable through the torso. Good, you got one more there. Good, we'll come all the way in. Now up to you which foot you want to take onto the bar first. I like to take my left foot first. We're going to bring the ball of our foot onto the foot bar. For this one, you are going to want your hands up on the shoulder blocks if that wasn't already your choice. Go ahead and extend one leg straight. You're going to keep it straight from here. You're going to lift the other foot and place it on the bar in Pilates V position. Heels together, toes apart. We're going to bring the wrist right underneath the shoulders and on your exhale, you're going to press the carriage out away from you and inhale back underneath yourself. Exhaling to press away. Inhaling to draw under. Two more like that. And last one there. Good. Carefully step one foot down onto the carriage and we'll come all the way in from there. I'm just laughing because I turned off the air conditioning uh, for the sound for this video. Now I'm very slippery. <laughs> all right, from here, if your headrest is up, you're going to take it all the way down. We're going to come into a seated position on top of the carriage. You're going to reach down and grab onto the straps. If you've got an option, I'd say short loops. If that doesn't feel like enough resistance, you can grab up to the ropes above the hardware. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. So you want there to be about a palm distance behind you on the mat. We're going to work again on those low abs. So you're going to take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, you're going to tuck your tailbone under. So we're just hanging here into the ropes. I want you to really keep trying to hollow out through the torso. Think about your thighs reaching out away from you. We're trying to get so that you can feel the edge of the carriage on your back. Inhale to hold it there and exhale to draw it up. I actually am going to take my hands up onto the ropes because I don't feel like moving the foot bar and it's kind of in my way. Take an inhale. Exhale, tuck that tailbone under. We're rolling back. Keeping the collarbones wide so I'm not collapsing through the chest. Once you get down here, it's kind of hard to hold on to. Inhale. Exhale, deepen that pubic bone to belly button connection and stack it all the way up. Two more like that. Exhaling back. So while I'm back here, I'm thinking about kind of reaching my thigh bones out away from my hip sockets and drawing up. This time we're going to roll back and hold. Good. From here, with nothing changing through the torso, I'm imagining that my legs start up underneath my front ribs. And on my exhale, we're going to draw my right leg up to tabletop and inhale back down. Notice nothing is changing through the shape of my spine. If you hear a little wobble in my voice, it's because this is hard for two. And last one. Good. Both feet down. Inhale. Exhale to scoop it all the way up. Sit up nice and tall. One last little thing there. On your exhale, we're going down to that same spot. 
Collarbones are nice and wide. Right leg comes up to tabletop, left leg comes up to meet it. Good, from here we're gonna inhale both toes down towards the headrest, but I don't want the shape of your spine to change. So my toes aren't gonna come all the way down to the headrest. I'm inhaling them down and exhaling up. Two more. Keep those collarbones wide, keep the shoulders relaxed. I'm saying that as much for me as I am for you. Good, feet can rest down, inhale, exhale to scoop. All the way up. Beautiful, from there. You're gonna hang those straps up. We're gonna flip around into a kneeling position on top of the carriage facing towards the foot bar. Feet are gonna go up against the shoulder blocks. My hands are a little bit wider than my shoulders. Elbow pits are rotating forward. I'm gonna go ahead and press my hips forward. So I'm making a nice long line with the front of my body. From here on your exhale, you're gonna press that whole shape back. I want you to think about pressing your hips down towards the well of the machine. And then on your inhale, we're gonna think about drawing the chest up through the shoulders, extending through the spine, really working those hamstrings as well. Exhaling back, inhaling forward, but not flexing at the hips, right? So as I come in, I'm not thinking about my knees coming in, I'm thinking about my hips coming forward and my chest coming up. And the movement in my hips is what's bringing my knees in. We've got one more there. Good, and then you can sit your hips back. Maybe the tops of your toes wanna to go along, and we're just gonna sit back into a nice long child's pose. Kind of letting your chest drop down through your shoulders. We get a nice little stretch through the armpits. And we'll bring it all the way up. Good, we're staying on this red frame, like I said at the beginning, because we're staying on it the whole time. We're gonna sit kind of right in the center of the carriage. Hands come onto the foot bar pretty close together and towards the center. And then you're gonna step one heel at a time onto the foot bar. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, you're extending your legs and reaching nice and long through the arms. I like to put a little bit of pressure into my hands here to get a little bit more of a stretch and drop back in. Now if you need more of a stretch, you're gonna scoot yourself a little bit further forward. And on your exhale, really send those hips back, extend through the legs as much as possible, and inhale to draw it in. Last one like that. This one we're gonna hold it out nice and long. From here, we're gonna lift the right arm up, bicep is next to ear, we're gonna twist through the waist and reach out long through that top arm. Bring it down through the center and over to the other side. And down through the center, open the knees to come in. All right, and you all are done. I hope you enjoyed this quick little one red spring workout, uh, and I hope you have a lovely day.